fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stockton Stuff here for a late October sheet load. I uh, had, had it done pretty much by the end of the month, but got busy with Halloween stuff and my craft room getting painted and just the whole shebang. So I'm here to share. Um, I also have most of my, almost all of the November done, so I'll share that as well pretty soon. So, um, I used my beautiful, the last sheet and a half of my beautiful leaf paper that I love so much. You've seen me use it. You saw me use it last fall for cards. And so I decided to pull that and my Park Lane, um, um, wood grain paper out. And I used, uh, several colors of that. So this one is the beige and, um, this, um, this is a this is the Spellbinder stamp of the month, small stamp of the month, and I stamped "You Make Me Colorful," and this is a um, don't remember the name of it, but it is a Stampin' Up ink, and then this leaf is a set from um, a Stampin' Up die, and this is paper that you've seen me use. I have it in green and beige and yellow, and this is gold vellum behind it. And just some um, sequin um, gems, or you know, they're sticky back. All right, and I think those are also stamping up. So those two are the same. This is the back side of this leaf paper. I don't think I've ever shown that before. So um, I thought it was a good, you know, combination to pull out, even with the leaves on the front. This one I did in. Um, it's a kind of a burgundy color. I think it's, um, I can't remember if that's Stampin' Up or I just got a new one that's cranberry, but I think that's lighter. This is a Tuesday morning leaf. Had some bling in my stash. Again, same background with that, the strips and then the gold vellum. And that um, is the pink. No, this is like the purplish color, which I thought matched that leaf, but the pink also does as well. And so there's that kind of rose color background. So you see there they're different but they complement I think the card um, so those two are very similar then I had to use a different background because I have used up all of the wood grain that matches this leaf I used it last year and so I pulled I think this is out of the ocean pack it's 110 as well from Michaels and backgrounds the same except I used some scraps here this is a pewter color a scrap I had I love that and then I pulled this blue out that I believe is, um, I don't know, it's textured. So I just love how those look. You got a little shimmer on the pewter. So I did both of those. I think that ink is called Peacock. And added some bling. And these are also um, uh, from that pewter, from that pewter, um, <laughs> scrap and then I did yellow from the rest of the other half of this uh, paper that I did the strips. Now this one I realized after I went to put the embellishment on that I put this on um, ups upside down. I put the <laughs> I put the zigzag on upside down so see it should be at the bottom of the card and I put it at the top but I said oh well I'll do it anyway and so there's that um, and then this brown is a uh, is also a Stampin' Up ink, but it's not called brown. It's something else. All right, so there's my October sheet load. Sorry I didn't have better information on the products I use, but I really just wanted to share the cards with you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And thanks to all of my October new subscribers. I think I had my record of new subscribers um, in 2021. Uh, was in October so I really appreciate you all and I hope that you learned something or just enjoy watching the channel and uh, hope to see you crafting as well and again thanks for watching